In this video, we will show you what you can do if the voice chat in Valorant is not working properly on Windows PC. Voice chat is an important feature of this game as it enables players to communicate and interact with each other during gameplay. While most of the time voice chat works fine for users, some have reported that voice chats on Valorant didn't work for them. This can be really annoying and frustrating as it prevents you from communicating with other players and you might not be able to give voice commands for the game. So it becomes crucial to get this as you fixed as soon as possible. There can be different reasons for voice chat not working on Valorant. However, there is no clear description of why this issue may occur. It can occur to you to incorrect input and output audio settings on your PC. Another reason for the same can be that the in-game settings are not configured properly. Also, software conflicts, outdated audio drivers, and insufficient admin rights to run. Valorant can also be reasons for this issue. Check out the solutions that you can try to fix the problem. Plug it in your PC or phone and run a simple voice test to see if it is in good condition. If you use a splitter, make sure the microphone wire isn't torn. Right click on the volume mic on at the bottom right of your taskbar. Click on sounds. Go to recording and make sure you have the correct mic selected as default. Once done, try talking in the mic and see if the green bar adjoining the default microphone goes up. Third fix, double check Valorant voice chat settings. Launch Valorant and go to the settings menu from the top right. Navigate to audio and select voice chat. Double check the voice settings to see if everything is correctly configured. Final fix, update your Windows sound drivers. To do this, you need to close the game and pull up the device manager, then expand the audio inputs and outputs. Right click on the microphone and headset that you're using and select update driver. Let your computer automatically search for the drivers and install them if they're available. That's it. We hope this video is helpful to you. Please subscribe to know our latest videos in the future.